ಗುರುರ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಗುರುರ್ ವಿಷ್ಣು ಗುರುರ್ ದೇವೋ ಮಹೇಶ್ವರ ಗುರುರ್ ಸಾಕ್ಷಾತ್ ಪರ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ತಸ್ಮೈ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರುವೇ ನಮಃ ಅಜಿ ಮೋಯ ರೋಯಲ್ ಗ್ಲೋಬಲ್ ಯೂನಿವರ್ಸಿಟಿ ಪ್ರಾಂಗಣಲ್ ಆಪ್ನ ಲೋಕ ಶೋಭಕ ಅಭಿನಂದನ ಜನಾಯಿಸು ಸ್ವಾಗತ ಜನಾಯಿಸು ಮೈ ಆಪ ಸಬೋ ಕಾ ದಿ ಅಸಾಮ ರೋಯಲ್ ಗ್ಲೋಬಲ್ ಯೂನಿವರ್ಸಿಟಿ ಕೆ ಇಸ್ ಪವಿತ್ರ ಪ್ರಾಂಗಣ ಮೇ ಅಭಿನಂದನ ಕರ್ತಾ ಹೂ ಸ್ವಾಗತ ಕರ್ತಾ ಹೂ ಮೈ ಅಪನೆ ಭಾಷಣ ಕೆ ದೌರಾನ ಕುಛ ರೆಲಿವೆಂಟ್ ಬಾತು ಕೆ ಥ್ರೂ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಲೈ ವೈಲ್ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಕೋಟ್ ಹೆಲನ್ ಕೆಲ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಕಾಟ್ ಒನ್ ಸ್ಲೋಕ ಆಫ್ ದೋಹಾ ಆಫ್ ಕವೀತ್ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಟೇಕ್ ಯು ಟು ರಿಗವೇದ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಕಾಟ್ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಮೂರ್ತಿ ಜಿ ವಿಚ್ ಆರ್ ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ ರೆಲಿವೆಂಟ್ ಟು ದಿಸ್ ಕೊಲೋಬ್ರೇಷನ್ ಏರಾ ಲೆಟ್ ಮಿ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಬಿಗಿನ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ಮಂಗಲ ಕಾಮನಾ ಮಂತ್ರ ಸರ್ವೇಷಾಂ ಸ್ವಸ್ತಿರ್ಭವತು ಸರ್ವೇಷಾಂ ಶಾಂತಿರ್ಭವತು ಸರ್ವೇಷಾಂ ಪೂರ್ಣಂ ಭವತು ಸರ್ವೇಷಾಂ ಮಂಗಲಂ ಭವತು ಓಂ ಸರ್ವೇ ಭವಂತು ಸುಖಿನ ಸರ್ವೇ ಶಂತು ನಿರಾಮಯ ಸರ್ವೇ ಭದ್ರಾಣಿ ಪಶ್ಯಂತು ಮಾ ಕಶ್ಚಿತ್ ದುಃಖ ಭಾಗ ಭವೇತ್ ದಿ ಐಡಿಯಾ ಆಫ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ಸಂಸ್ಕೃತ ಶ್ಲೋಕ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಎನ್ ಐಡಿಯಾ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಡ್ರಾಪ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಸೇಡ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಭಾರತ ಕೀ ಪ್ರತಿಷ್ಠಾ ದೋ ಚೀಜೋ ಮೇ ಹೈ ಭಾರತ ಪ್ರತಿಷ್ಠೆ ದ್ವೆ ಸಂಸ್ಕೃತ ಸಂಸ್ಕೃತಿ ಸ್ಥಾ ಭಾರತ ಕೀ ಪ್ರತಿಷ್ಠಾ ಸಂಸ್ಕೃತ ಭಾಷಾ ಮೇ ಹೈ ಔರ್ ಹಮಾರಿ ಸಂಸ್ಕೃತಿ ಮೇ ಹೈ ಇಸಲಿಯ ಮೈ ಆಪ ಸಬೋ ಸೆ ನಿವೇದನ ಕರೂಂಗಾ ಕಿ ಹಮೇ ಅಪನೆ ಅನುಷ್ಠಾನೋ ಮೇ ಸಂಸ್ಕೃತ ಭಾಷಾ ಕೋ ಔರ್ ಹಮಾರಿ ಸಂಸ್ಕೃತಿ ಕೋ ಬಹುತ ಪ್ರಮೋಟ್ ಕರ್ನಾ ಹೈ ಅಗರ ಹಮೇ ವಿಶ್ವಗುರು ಬನ್ನಾ ಹೈ ತೋ ಸಂಸ್ಕೃತ ಭಾಷಾ ಕೆ ಮಾಧ್ಯಮ ಸೆ ಔರ್ ಭಾರತೀಯ ಸಂಸ್ಕೃತಿ ಕೆ ಮಾಧ್ಯಮ ಸೆ ಹೀ ಹಮ ಉಸ ಏಮ್ ಕೋ ಅಚೀವ್ ಕರ ಪಾಯೆಂಗೆ ನಾವು ಕಬೀರ್ದಾಸ್ ಜಿ ಕಾ ಎಕ ದೋಹಾ ಹೈ ವೇ ಕಹತೆ ಹೈ ಬಡಾ ಹುವಾ ತೋ ಕ್ಯಾ ಹುವಾ ಜೈಸೆ ಪೇಡ ಖಜೂರ ಪಂಥೀ ಕೋ ಛಾಯಾ ನಹೀ ಫಲ ಲಾಗೆ ಅತಿ ದೂರ ಜೋ ಹಿಂದಿ ಮೀಡಿಯಮ್ ಸೆ ಪಢೆ ಹೋ ವೋ ವಾಕಿಫ ಹೋಂಗೆ ಪರ ಜೋ ನಹೀ ಉನಕೆ ಲಿಯ ಮೈ ಇಸಕಾ ಅರ್ಥ ಪಢ ದೇತಾ ಹೂ ಇಂಗ್ಲಿಸ್ ಮೇ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಬೆನಿಫಿಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಗ್ರೋವಿಂಗ್ ಆಸ್ ಹೈ ಆಸ್ ಎ ಡೆಡ್ ಪಾಮ್ ಟ್ರೀ ನಿದರ್ ಡಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಪ್ರೊವೈಡ್ ಸೆಡ್ ಟು ಟ್ರೆವಲರ್ಸ್ ನೋರ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಫ್ರೂಟ್ಸ್ ಬಿ ಈಸಿಲಿ ಪ್ಲಗ್ ಸಿಮಿಲರ್ಲಿ ಸಿಂಪ್ಲಿ ಬೀಯಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ಎ ವೆರಿ ಹೈ ಸ್ಟೇಚರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ರಿಸೋರ್ಸ್ಫುಲ್ ಇಸ್ ಯೂಸ್ಲೆಸ್ if one cannot be of any help to others you understand the relevance somebody can be a great institution some university can be big some college can be very big there can be some iit which is world class but beside the benefit of that institution to the faculty and students of that institution if it does not spread its wings it doesn't help the other institution it remains like that palm tree so it is very relevant that any institution with resources and knowledge share it with the others which are less privileged similarly helen keller had a cot he had said alone we can do so little together we can do so much so that's the philosophy of collaboration today's era is the era of collaboration because when the joint hands and the joint resources and knowledge and research and forces work together we can do so much in the rigveda also i will quote it is said that we should march together sangachhadvam samvadadvam shambho mananasi janatam deva bhagam yatha purve ಸಂಜಾ ನಾನಾ ಉಪಾಶತೆ ಹಮ್ ಸಬ್ ಏಕ ಸಾಥ ಚಲೆ ಏಕ ಸಾಥ ಬೋಲೆ ಏಕ ಜೈಸಾ ಸೋಚೆ ಪೂರ್ವ ಮೇ ಹಮಾರೆ ದೇವತಾ ಐಸಾ ಕರ್ತೆ ಥೆ ಔರ್ ಇಸೀಲಿಯೆ ವೆ ಪೂಜನೀಯ ಹೈ ಶಮಾನೋ ಮಂತ್ರ ಶಮಿತಿ ಶಮಾನಿ ಶಮಾನಂ ಮನಃ ಶಚಿತ್ತ ಮೇ ಶಾಮ್ 
समानम मंत्रम अभिमंत्रे वह समाने न वो हविषा जुहोमि शव का जीवन मंत्र उद्देश्य एक समान हो सभी एक समान संगठित रहे एक समान मन और एक समान इच्छाएं हो एक समान उद्देश्य के साथ दूसरों को भी एक लक्ष्य की ओर ले चलें एक समान फल की प्राप्ति हो समानी वह आकुति ही समान हृदयानी वह समान मस्तु वो मनो यथा वह सुसुहाशति एक समान आकृति एक समान शरीर वाले मनुष्य सभी का हृदय समान हो और एक ही समान मन हो जो एक समान प्रसन्नता को प्राप्त करे सो यू वेल अंडरस्टैंड दैट हाउ रेलिवेंट दीज ऋग्वेदा लाइन्स आर सिमिलरली नारायण मूर्ति जी है सेट वेन यू हैव मेड योर मार्क ऑन द वर्ल्ड रिमेंबर दैट in the ultimate analysis we are all mere temporary custodian of the wealth we generate whether it be financial intellectual or emotional the best use of your wealth is to share it with less fortunate and i am sure we all are not equally resourceful we all are not equally fortunate there are some which are less there are many who are very resourceful full so in case we come together to help each other we come together to work together i am sure the result will be very big and as our vice chancellor has rightly said that these mou you all have gathered here today to sign mou with royal global university i am sure you have trust and confidence that probably this university is has mark to some extent an impression that this can this collaboration can help and it is not that it is going to help you only it is going to help us as well while you will get to know many good practices which are being practiced here in our campus in our institution be it academics be it other good practices which any institution should have while our teachers and students will go to your campus for various exchange program or whatever be the region seminar workshop i am sure our people will learn from you and try to understand the shortcomings which may we may have so it is a mutual benefit for both you colleges who have come forward to have this mou signed and for royal global university also and we have signed number of mous in the past particularly in the last one year including mou with the institute of eminence you must be knowing that there are certain institution which have been given the kind of acknowledgement of being declared as the institute of eminence one being op jindal global university we have our mou and the mentorship agreement with them who are mentoring our university and we are really getting lot of inputs and we are benefited with their guidance i am sure this will go further while we learn from them we try to uh, help other colleges and schools and that will be the real benefit of the collaboration but as the vice chancellor said that we have uh, done away with the mou which we are done with the lucknow uh, indore i so this should not confine to the papers only unless because i know we have some uh, benefits of number of mous 200 or 500 in various affiliation and accreditation similar is the case with you let that be but unless we really work on this mous unless we start working right from today you have come here you try to see the campus i when i speak about the see the campus does not mean you see the infrastructure that will be seen by your eyes anyway i mean to say you must meet the academicians as our advisor dr mihir choudhary sir said that we have very luminaries professors senior people interact with them and try to understand the pedagogy of teaching in this university the good practices of this universities that will really help you people to take it further and implement in your institution while our teachers and faculty will interact with you in the sessions later on maybe they will learn to know which college is doing what kind of great things and it is a 
platform where we teach each other, learn from each other. Your presence here today is a testament to your commitment to fostering educational partnership that will benefit not only our respective institutions, but also the broader academic community. Broader academic community. The, signing of, the signing of these MOUs signifies more than just agreement on paper. It embodies our shared vision for the future of education, one that is built on the pillars of cooperation, innovation, and mutual growth. Through these partnerships, we aim to create a dynamic and enriching academic environment that will empower our students and faculty to excel in their endeavor. As we embark on this new chapter, I am reminded of the word Helen Keller, as I already quoted, alone we could, alone we can do so little, together we can do so much. It is through our collective efforts that we can achieve greatness. By pulling our resources, expertise, and knowledge, we can address the challenges of the future and make significant contributions to the society. Education is the cornerstone, of, and by joining forces, we can create new opportunities for research, student exchange programs, faculty development, and much more. These collaborations will open doors to diverse perspectives innovative ideas and transformative experiences that will save, save the leaders of tomorrow. So, uh, while I have come to the conclusion of whatever I had to address on this very auspicious occasion of the MOU signing uh, ceremony, I would also like to emphasize on one particular issue uh, which I understand is very important and which need to be addressed by we all scholars, educationists, and whosoever are directly or indirectly in the education sector. We know we have a lot of future challenges, but one big challenge I foresee is the challenge of global warming, climatic issues, the challenges of pure atmosphere, the water reservation, etc., which are all related to nature. In my opinion, we all try to create the best infrastructure for any institution. We try to improve upon our quality of academics, which we impart. And as we understand that, any person, any student or parent who look for the admission of their child or for themselves or any institution, the first thing they look at is the infrastructure and of course, the quality of education. And in times to come also, I'm sure the students and parents will continue to look for the quality of the infrastructure and the quality of education in any institution wherever they like to put their students. But in my personal opinion, 10, 20 years down the line, one more big issue is going to come. And while taking a decision, about putting a child in a particular school or college or university, another important issue is going to come. What they will look at beside these is whether that institution is fit for living. And for that, it is very important that we make our campus green campus. We have taken a resolution that this campus, and even in our real estate where we are into the main business of real estate, that we have to plant a tree. A plant is a must for today, for survival tomorrow. And as such, each one of us should promote growing more plants. And I am sure you all must have big, big campuses and your buildings must have come up in a part of that big campus, maybe 20 vigas, 30 vigas, 100 vigas. And huge amount of land must have been unutilized lying must be lying unutilized. So the best use of that land will be promote planting. Make it like a forest. That will address the challenge of global warming. And I am telling you, you will become the lead campus, lead institution, because that will not cost you much. 
but in times to come you will be one of the preferred institution in terms of real proper living jahan log saans le sakenge ji sakenge kyunki survival zyada zaruri hai padhai kitni achhi hai wo secondary hogi isliye aane wale dino mein kaun sa campus sarvottam hai सिर्फ जीने के लिए और रहने के लिए इसलिए मेरी आपसे विनती होगी कि आप सब अपने अपने कैंपस को इतना ग्रीन कैंपस बना दें इतने पेड़ पौधे लगा दें कि वहाँ स्वच्छ ऑक्सीजन बच्चों को मिल सके तो यह आपके फ्यूचर का एक बहुत बड़ा विजन होगा और आज इसी संदेश के साथ मैं अपनी वाणी को विराम देना चाहता हूँ धन्यवाद